Hello everyone, welcome back. We are on day 12. Let's have a look. Putting that one back, that's what we're doing. Right, let's have a look what we got. Green! Yay! Finally, a green. Yay! I'm happy about that because these, these have been sat next to me the, for like the whole of this time since I've had it going, I need something green, I need something green because I need to do my grinchy, grinchy, grinch. Well, there we go. That is what we are going to play with today. I'll be back shortly. I just realised I didn't even open the pot. See, I got so excited I completely forgot what I was doing. Right, let, let's open the pot. <laughs> And that is what we he's very shiny, isn't it? Um I do feel like I've had this one before as well though. Hmm. But still, it's green. I like green. Green I can work with. No idea what I'm going to do yet, though. So I got the stickers, and I was like, yeah, I'm going to do the stickers. And then I'm just looking out again. Um... <laughs> now, what am I going to do with that? I don't know. I'm going to have a think, and I'll be back shortly. Right, let's get into this. Yes, I have got this Savaland. It's like a pearly polish. Um, the lovely Emma, she recommended this to me ages ago. I'm sorry, it's taken me an absolute age. Um, I finally brought some. And so I thought I'd play with it. Um, I don't know what I'm doing, basically. But you're supposed to be able to either use it as like just a normal polish or you can use... It gives you like a little dotting tool and you can make some swirlies. I did it a bit too deep, I think. Um, but I actually liked how it came out, so I was like, yeah, do you know what? I'm gonna rock with I'm gonna rock this. So we're gonna do the first layer and I'm gonna cure that in the lamp. Now it is very much like the nail can be, um pearly, what was it, selenium or something, I think it's called. That's yeah, it has that same shimmer to it and that same effect. Um so when you put the brush stroke brush in, you do get those brush strokes, which I don't mind for this because it's going to have two coats on it anyway. And for what we're going to do to it, it really doesn't matter that you can see the brush strokes. Um, but yeah, it, it's pretty much identical to it. Um, other than the fact that obviously one's in a bottle and one's in a pot. And I would say, well, I bought that whole kit for £9, <laughs> of which there are six colours. So it's a damn sight cheaper. Uh, <laughs> This glitter, like I said, when I opened it, I thought, you know what, I swear I've had this one before. And from what I had for the one last year, it was actually very translucent. So although it looked like a really, you know, green, green glitter in, in the pot, when you actually used it, it wasn't. It was very light. Um, so I just put some basically on uh, next to me, just on the white thingy. And it was exactly the same. So I was like going, uh, yeah, that's. That's not going to go quite so well with what I was intending. So I have had to mix this up a little bit. Um, so, yeah, so for two of the nails, uh, we are going to do... We're going to do two coats, but what you do is the second coat you put on, you don't cure it in the lamp and until you've done your swirly swirlies with your dotting tool and then you cure it i'm giving them a 60 second cure because i didn't know what it was i do find with this lamp it is not quite as powerful as the one i had before or uh, i don't know what it is it, it seems to be fine until i use model one and i've just noticed it just doesn't quite seem to want to cure that one as well and i don't know why it's it's bizarre um so anyway i'm doing a 60 second cure I do like this lamp because it is a lot bigger, you know, especially when you're trying to put people's hands in there and even my practice hand, which is a nightmare to try and fit in the lamp as a whole thing. So, yeah, 60 second cure. I'm just going to bash things as well whilst I'm at it. 
So that middle nail, that is going to have two coats on it and it's going to be cured with the two coats because that's the one that's going to have the sticker on it. So originally I was going to have kind of like a green outside on it, like, you know, a really dark green and then kind of edge it and have the sticker in the middle. But when I realised that this glitter wasn't going to do what I was wanting to do, what I decided was I'm going to do put the sticker in the middle and then I'm just going to lightly put some of the glitter round it so it looks like he's glowing glitter, almost. Um, so here we go, we're going to do the swirly swirls. And I'm going to do a few more as well. And then what I decided to do is I'm going to come in and I'm just going to put a little bit of glitter in these ones as well. That's after it's been cured, but I'm putting the glitter on the tacky layer of this because it does have a tacky layer. Because if I went and put, <coughs> I'm going to cough. If I went and put the glitter in when it's like that, it's just going to smudge that effect and it's going to get, it's, it's going to look nasty. It's not going to be good. It's not going to be good. So we're not going to do that. No. So I'm going to put the glitter on it into the tacky layer and then I'm going to floaty floaty some base coat over the top floaty floaty people if you pull down hard on it you're just going to pull all the glitter off and that's not what we want so we're going to floaty floaty and of course we want to cover up where we've made those indentations we don't want that still you know you, you want to be able to see it so you've got a lovely 3d effect but you don't want to feel it on top so we, we're going to we're going to cover that up. I mean, Emma did the most beautiful set of nails in this. Um, if you're not on the Facebook group, you should go on the Facebook group because there is a picture of uh, what she did. And she she did this brilliant. I don't know how she did it, but she did. And I loved it. Um, my, mine is nothing like it. <laughs> so, Emma, please <laughs> give me some pointers. Give me some tips because mine's crap. Um... So yeah, at this point, I was about to put base coat on it and then realised, no, it's not a water decal, it's a sticker. I don't I don't need to do any of that. I just need to peel the sticker off and then it's all good. I'm about to get a child invasion. I've just told them, in fact, I'm going downstairs to record. So now he's come down. Because I was upstairs, but they were making so much noise upstairs. So I decided to come downstairs to do my voiceover. And now now the child's come downstairs. I thought you were finished. No, why would I be sat? I'm not sat here talking to myself, am I? Do I normally sit here talking to myself or am I generally talking to somebody? Uh, probably talking to somebody. Right, talking to somebody. So so, so what am I doing right now? Uh, doing a voiceover. Yeah, so I'm talking to somebody. And now you've set the cat off as well. Oh, my God. Anybody think you've never fed cat? This cat gets the most amount of fuss and she's an absolute bloody gannet as well. But honestly, people come in and do meow, 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 meow. So she's the most unloved cat in the world. It's like, you are... She's called Princess. We did not name her Princess. She's a rescue cat. But my God, Princess by name, Princess by nature. And she's a, she's a proper old girl now. We think she must be about 19. I'm not even 19. I'm You're not even eight. 19. Yeah, no. But the cat still wants Bless fussy. Her. She is the most fussiest cat ever. She's so laid back as well. You know, she's... The whole time of having kids, she's just not bothered by them at all. They become, they can get away with everything. She's never reacted to them whatsoever. Um, so she, yeah, she's lovely really, but my gosh, she's annoying too. So you're going to see what I mean about this glitter in a minute when I can actually pick some up. Um, but yeah, yeah. Anywho. <laughs> I've I've got nothing else to say about it to be honest. I'm just going to poke it around now for quite some time. So yeah. I'm I'm going to speed up this bit and then you can just watch the final bit. Ooh. Right, so we're going to go into supersonic speed now just to get through putting all the glitter on cuz basically that's I've already told you what I'm doing with it and then I'm going to do float the top, base coat over the top. I don't even know if I keep recording when I get to the top coat because I couldn't be bothered to keep waiting whilst it was coming out of the lamp. Um, but I do cure the base coat for 60 seconds and I do cure the top coat for 60 seconds as well. And there is a picture at the end of the video as usual. I mean, look at that. That's, that's a really funky effect. I like that. Same do I. Mm. I would say I am, a, I am an absolute lover of the Grinch um the the new versions you know which is the cartoon version so those kind of swirlies are definitely more 
with the cartoony theme. And oh yeah, I enjoyed them. I liked it. Again, new product for you. Something different in this video. We are end day 12 and I have given you something different every single day. Can I get a brownie point, please? Whoop, whoop. I really like that glitter. Yeah. It's very cool. I like green, that green glitter. It's you like, you like green. It's very shiny. Uh, what, so what you can see me there, I'm just dipping my, the tip into some base gel just to pick up the glitter, basically. Because if I'd used the brush to do this, it wouldn't have... Because I only want a few little bits here. I don't want it to cover all over it. What, what are you trying to give me kisses for? Oh, no. mm. oh, no. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> what are you doing? Sorry, that's the child, not the cat, I would point out. <laughs> Yeah, I, d I don't do that to the cat. Mm. Although she is looking at me going, but I want Fuzzy's door. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> Strange. <laughs> Love yous. Love yous. Love yous. <laughs> there we go. Right, so the base coat's just going on top to uh, fill all of that in. And... Nope, I've just realised I haven't done the glitter yet on that one. Uh, anyway, right, I'm, I'm going to love and leave you at this point because this is only going to descend in more chaos. Uh, thank you very much for watching. I really hope you've enjoyed it and I will catch you in tomorrow's video.